accidentally sabotaging it because you're trying to hit hit a milestone just for the sake of hitting a milestone versus you know enjoying the relationship with a person until you inevitably get to this milestone because time is going to pass anyway so eventually you'll get there hi libra welcome to your reading today so today's reading is your mid-march reading or this could also be a reading for whenever you come across it for the next 30 days all right so we have some pre-drawn cards for you guys and then we're also gonna draw some cards as we go along to get even more detail but let's see what you guys have right now so we have communication is key look at the bigger picture magic seeker and we also have slow but steady so the first thing i want to talk about is the rune that you guys have today which is Odin's rune, so it's just a blank rune, but it usually talks about things like wisdom, knowledge, but also it talks about things that we don't know yet, like um, there's an essence here of something information-wise, something as like a context to a situation you're experiencing that you just don't know yet, and that part of that information is really important to making some decision or moving forward in some way with what you are currently um, dealing with. So as well with the communication key, there is an essence here of needing to communicate something to someone. So current, you know, currently you may be wanting or needing to communicate something, but you don't yet know what that is or even how to communicate it. And this is kind of talking about that a little bit. And with the magic card, I do get a feeling that there is an experience that you're wanting to have in a situation, whether this is with a job, family, friends, a romantic partner. Um, but there is a sense here that you're wanting to create um, a feeling or a type of relationship, um, but really needing to kind of step back in a sense um, and to allow the situation to unfold on its own so maybe if you are feeling like you are putting a lot of energy and effort into shaping a relationship in a certain way or having a dynamic with another person be a certain way this would be talking about finding a way to um, just go a little bit slower so that things feel a little bit more, I guess, natural. Let's get some more information for you guys. That way we can get some more specific information that will clear this message up a little bit. All right. So the card that we have here is baggage, not letting go, hanging on to past hurts slash issues identifying heal patterns that impact relationships so i feel like the last part here is related to you guys' reading that says the identifying heal patterns that impact relationships um and i feel like that's definitely related to the looking at the big picture card as well because there is a sense here that you may be wanting to rush a relationship for example because of and these are examples so say like someone is dealing with a certain insecurity or dealing with a certain fear and so they're trying to rush the relationship and because of that they're not really getting the opportunity to enjoy it not really getting the opportunity to connect with this person you know with hobbies or with certain conversations that would allow you guys to bond just sort of things like that i feel like this card is coming in to say um, what is it that you personally would want to address within yourself? Like we get that you are looking and seeking something um, companionship wise, maybe um, a specific like work environment. But um, what is it that if you were not trying to seek this thing out, like what kind of work would, would you be doing on yourself? That way you can still allow yourself to experience this dynamic relationship situation while also not accidentally sabotaging it because you're trying to kind of hit hit a milestone just for the sake of hitting a milestone versus, you know, enjoying the relationship with a person until you inevitably get to this milestone because time is going to pass anyway. So eventually you'll get there and that sort of thing. So let's see what else we have. 
And also, too, if this is, you know, someone that you feel like you can communicate these, like, you know, if there's an insecurity or a fear that you have, being able to communicate that to this person so that they may, for example, know that you feel like in relationships you need to have sort of like a quickened pace to it because of these things, that person may be able to help to kind of slow things down when they notice it as well. So, you know, maybe for example, you are really quick to, again, try to get to a certain milestone and they'll be like, hey babe, like, um, how about we just go rock climbing this weekend or go for a drive or go to the beach and just enjoy the day together. And that kind of helping, um, helping the relationship, but also helping you as well. Because I definitely do get the sense that this isn't necessarily easy for you to catch. I think because it is so subconscious for you that while you may notice it consciously at certain points, there's a lot of moments in time where you may act out or behave in a certain way, but you don't necessarily pick up that this is the reason why. So the card that we had turn up was trust issues. A certain of trust issues are justified or unjustified. Trust is imperative to feel safe and secure. So maybe some of you guys feel worried about telling this person about how you're feeling, like worried that they won't understand, worried that they won't want to stay. And the answer to that is this rune here. Um, you know, no one's going to be able to tell you what this person's response is going to be. But I think for many of you guys, you're looking for a dynamic, a specific sort of dynamic. And I think that for many of you, it would actually be important for you to be able to share this with your partner, the person you're dating, so that they have some understanding, but also some compassion for, you know, whether or not you guys know the reasons why you may be acting in this way. But I think it is important for many of um, my Libras to have a person who genuinely cares to accommodate to this situation, to be helpful and understanding and empathetic. So yeah, while you may not know um, how they may react, I do get the essence that for many of you, you may still find it important to say something to figure out how this person will respond. And I think that really speaks to, to this ring as well. And it's not so much to say like you're testing this person, it's just if the roles were reversed, I get the sense that you just wanna make sure that someone treats you in the same way that you would treat them in a certain situation. And that kind of being really important for you. Because again, you're looking for someone with certain characteristics, certain morals, certain values, and this is something that you struggle with, and you wanna make sure that if you are struggling with something in a relationship, that the person that you are with is kind and caring. So we have deal breakers. List and adhere to your deal breakers. The universe will support you staying true to you, exactly. So whatever it is that is very important to you in a relationship, and if you do say something, right, because again, there is this essence of not knowing what an outcome is gonna be if we say something. So if you do share something and you find that the person does not respond in a way that you need to, please know, at least from this reading, that it is saying um, that being true to you is going to allow you to step into a space where you do find that person who responds the way that you need them to. Um, and then we also have here dating are slash will likely be dating like each other enjoying each other's company seeing each other so for my libras where you know maybe you say something to this person and they don't respond the way you really need to you may continue to date that way you can in fact find someone that is a good match and i want to get one last uh card from this deck thank you worthiness Know your worth. The universe can only bring you what you know you deserve. You can have it all. I don't want to add to that, Libra. I 100% agree. You guys are worth everything that you want, whether or not you think you do, whether or not you currently feel that way, whether or not other people think that about you. The truth is you're worthy just because you exist. All right, let's get some...
last cards divine i get the sense that the divine card is talking about you like you know that sense or um like certain people have this air about themselves where you can just kind of tell that they feel very confident about themselves because they i don't know like maybe they have a, a thought pattern where I'm the shit because I exist type of thing. Like, I am worthy because I exist. I am beautiful simply because. Like, that sort of thing. I get the sense that um, either you also fall in line with, like, having those belief patterns. Or it may be helpful to you. Or you may be moving towards that space. So, you kind of know um, where you kind of fall within, um, within that. And fear, yeah. I mean, like a lot of things, right? Like fear can um, make it difficult to make certain changes or um, certain moves, make certain decisions. But I do get the sense that there is, there is movement here, right? Although this may be difficult, but at the same time, Libras, I'm gonna be honest, there is this very, um, quiet sort of like slow moving that's what i want to say yeah slow moving um sense to you guys who's reading and we did have the slow but steady card so you know maybe whatever it is that you are working through doing here which would make a lot of sense and when we're dealing with something like we're talking about today where this may take some time and that's okay you know it could take some time because it's an internal thing and you you're gonna need time to work through those things with you know within yourself by yourself but also with a partner also too this could be taking some time for you know if any of my libras find that you are leaving a dynamic to find a different one and so that may take some time because not only are you doing that but you're also doing the internal work. So just know that this may take some time. That's totally okay. I'm a part of your reading. I cannot remember. I believe it was one of the cards. I, I can't see fully right here. This card here that um, kind of talks about doing things that you enjoy in the meantime. It kind of will allow the time to go by a little bit quicker because you won't feel like you're fixating on making this change in the same way of like how you may be dealing with relationships for example so you may find that that um, characteristic or quality that you have isn't just for relationships it may just be for life in general and so finding hobbies and things that kind of stop you in your tracks and make you have the hyper focus in on the moment could be super helpful. I know for me, something that helps to hyper focus in on the moment is like jigsaw puzzles or Sudoku or knitting, things like that where it's not necessarily like a mental task, but it requires your complete focus on that task at once. And so maybe you can do something else like, you know, play music in the background or talk to someone on the phone about something, uh, you know, a topic that's enjoyable to you or just how your day is going. But it can get your mind off of trying to make progress in certain areas of your life that don't really require you to put in as much effort to make, make certain progress, if that makes sense. All right, so let us, I wanna get one card from the self-forgiveness deck. So it says, I forgive myself for valuing the way others perceive me over the spirit of loving, of my loving objective. I choose to believe that the intention with which I express myself creates the foundation for the truth and that in time that truth will be revealed. And then we lastly have a sort of like skill skills based card where because on this channel we like to do a lot of stuff with our mental health this is 
a tool that you may find helpful to add to your toolkit so that when you're going through something or experiencing something, you can um, start to incorporate these skills in your life to kind of work, work through everyday life challenges. So today we have the acronym Dear Man has the building blocks for practicing assertiveness. We need to meet enough of others wants and needs, but meeting enough of our wants and needs is equally important for healthy relationships. In your interactions, consider the question of what you want or need from the interaction. Remember that assertiveness requires you to speak up and not just assume that others will automatically know or provide for your wants and needs. So yeah, I love this for you guys. So I will leave this here for you guys, Libra. Thank you so much for allowing me to do this reading. Please always remember that you are doing the best in this present moment with the knowledge, information, and skills that you have right now. And as always, I hope that this reading was confirmation of what you've been experiencing. So I will see you guys in the next reading. Bye Libra.